Let's see, this is a nice wet area here. It doesn't matter where you live in South Florida. Everybody, everybody has them. Janine Tilford is willing to bet she'll find New Guinea flatworms slithering through your grass, your flower pots. Even on that finely manicured gr grass in the multi-million dollar communities, they are there. Janine is in the business of hunting for critters that are toxic to you or your pets. Her business, Toad Busters, started as just that, hunting for bufo toads. But in the last several years, she started finding more New Guinea flatworms in her late night hunts. We happened to run into this creepy looking, looks like a leech almost, worm and realized it was an invasive species. The flatworm is coated with a toxin, but the biggest danger, she says, is the rat lungworm parasite they carry that can kill animals and cause a form of meningitis in humans. We have seen so many of them, like scary numbers. It's a, something of, you know, for me, major concern. The New Guinea flatworm made its way into the U.S. through South Florida in 2012 and is now in a majority of Florida counties preying on snails, slugs, and earthworms essential to our native of ecosystem. Look for the shiny shot? black. With her trained eye, they're not too hard to spot. Our lights reflect right off their black, slimy skin. So, you know, a lot of times they'll hang out in the middle of these. So, I saw one. You got one. I saw that shine. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's a big one. But even once you find them, here's one reason they're considered one of the worst invasive species in the world. They're very hard to kill. There's very few things that actually kills them. Pouring boiling water on them for now is the best way to know they're dead. Because even if you cut them into pieces, Tilford says those pieces will just grow into new worms. Janine says typically when she's looking for these worms, she'll find as many as 50 to even 60 in an area no bigger than this floor mat. I mean, I've been on properties where we have killed 60 worms in a matter of probably 10 minutes. She also worries about the worms slithering over gardens where people eat, play sets where children spend time. So she kills what she can until there's a better plan of attack. I just know once people start realizing how thick these are here and how dangerous they can be and you know what it does not with our environment that you know something's got to be done. Megan McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5.